Alright, let's begin the double jeopardy round, shall we? Player 3 selects first, and hopefully we can burn more money in this round. American Lit. American Lit. G Wiz. G Wiz. G Quotation. Famous Americans. Famous Americans. Football. Football, okay. Assassin. Assassin and victim. victim. And finally. And Archipelago. Archipelago. All right, let's get back into this. Football for Player four. Three has come. This cup representing Canadian football supremacy was donated by the descendant of a tea namesake. What is the Grey Cup? Player one. <laughs> Football for 800. All right. He caught the catch on January 10th, 1982. It's player one. Who is... Jerry Rice? Oh. No. Oh. Down to 800. Any other takers? It's player three. That's not it. Not Joe Montana. Anyone Dwight Clark was the answer. Yes, player two. Yeah. Right. Player two, you're in command of the board as we continue, right? Battles between these fighters in the Roman Colosseum were stopped in 404 AD. Yes, player one. Where are gladiators? Yeah. Yeah. Gee whiz for 800. Player one. The Stinking Rose Restaurant in San Francisco serves over 3,000 pounds of this herb each month. Here's the correct response. Garlic. Yuck. All right, gee whiz for 1,200. These large masses of slow-moving ice occur where winter snowfall exceeds summer melt. Player one? Uh, what are glaciers? Yeah. Yes! Gee whiz for 1,600, please. Selecting. Answer! A daily double! Answer. <laughs> one of the daily doubles. You are currently All right, I'll go for 1,000. How are you going to wager, player one? Here is your daily double clue. Rich in phosphates, this waste matter left by bats and seabirds can be a valuable commodity. Uh, what is gelatin? Even so, oh, you're no. still in the lead. But I maintain the lead. Guano. Guano. Gee whiz is for 2000. Layer one. In construction, it's a horizontal load-bearing structural member. Here's the correct response. Girder. Football for 1,200. Player one, you pick a... This Cowboys wide receiver of the 1990s is in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Okay, player one. Uh, who is Michael Irvin? <laughs> Good. Football for 1,600. Please. Let's go over to Jimmy. In this type of trick play, the quarterback hands off to a running back who hands off to a tight end, going in the opposite direction. Let's hear it, player three. What is the reverse? <laughs> yes. yes. On the plus side again. Okay, let's get back into this, player three. You make the next selection as we... To see this NFL team's home games at FedEx Field, take a shuttle bus from the Landover Metro stop. It's player one. Uh, what is the Washington Redskins? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Player one. All right. You're in uh, let's of the board see. How about American Lit for 400? This southern epic swept across the nation as the best selling <clears throat> book of 1936 and 1937. Let's hear it, Player one. What is Gone with the Wind? Yes. <laughs> Player one. Kelly will present this clue. In Portsmouth, New Hampshire, you can still see the home of this real-life orator, who in a famous story, out-argues the devil. It's player one. Uh, who is Nathaniel Hawthorne? Oh. No, that's not it. 
Any other takers? Here's the correct response. Daniel Webster. Player one. In a Whitman poem in memory of Abraham Lincoln, it's the title that precedes Our Fearful Trip is Done. Here's what we were looking for. Oh, Captain. My oh, captain. captain, my captain. All right. Player one. Famous Americans for 400. Her grave marker at Arlington bears only a cross, the years 1929 to 1994, and her full name, including Bouvier. It's player one. Uh, who's Jacqueline Kennedy? Yeah. That's her. Yes. You again. Here's Kelly. She'll show you. This American's illustration of the whitewashing scene from Tom Sawyer was featured on a 1972 stamp. Player one. Uh, who is Norman Rockwell? <laughs> yep. Makes sense there. You again, Fair player one. 1200. Last name of the brother <clears throat> whose Of Thee I Sing was the first musical to win a Pulitzer Prize. Here's the correct response. Gershwin. You get to... This man who helped win ratification of the Constitution by Maryland gave his name to a famous fort. <clears throat> We're talking about James McHenry. You again, Michael player one. Governor Willie Stark in this Robert Penn Warren novel is said to have been modeled after Huey Long. We're talking about all the king's men. You get to pick a... This Melville novel is subtitled A Narrative of Adventures in the South Seas. Let's hear it, player one. Uh, what is... Umu? <laughs> oh! That was just a guess. Please pick again. After filling Joe McCarthy's Senate seat, this Democrat fought long and hard against wasteful government spending. The correct response is William Proxmire. Proxmire, okay. Player one, choose again. Archipelago goes for 400. Sitka is the largest city in this state's Alexander Archipelago. Player three. Okay, player three. What well, is Washington? No. Nope. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Hmm. Here's the correct response. Alaska. Alaska. Assassin victim for 400. Player one. Marcus Junius Brutus et al. 44 BC. Yes, player one. Who's Julius Caesar? <laughs> Assassin victim for 800, please. We return. James Earl Ray, 1968. Player one. Uh... Who is Robert Kennedy? No. No. Anyone yeah, else? Seven thousand. Response. Player okay, two. Player two. Malcolm X. Sorry. Oh. No. That's right. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Yes. Player three. Martin Luther King <laughs> Jr. Okay. Player three, make a selection. Assassin victim for 1,200. Answer! Daily Double! <laughs> Answer. 
Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Not the room God say, 1948. Mohandas Gandhi. Right you are. Yep. We return to you, player three. Leon Cholgosh, 1901. It's player three. William McKinley. Yeah. That's it. Yes. All right, she's at 3,050. Go again. Player three. Yigal Amir, 1995. Okay, player two. Who's Anwar Sadat? Oh. No. No. Any other takers? Player three? Yitzhak <laughs> Rabi. You get to pick again, player three. In 1965, the Cook Islands became self-governing in free association with this country that provides for their defense. Here's what we were looking for, New Zealand. New Zealand. You get to pick again, player three. This Scottish archipelago is famous not only for its ponies, but also for a breed of dog. Let's hear it, player three. Shetland Islands? <laughs> yes. Player three. Pick and she's only seven fifty dollars behind me. This Pacific Island country is named for a British sea captain, not Happy Days producer Gary. Okay, player one. Where are the Marshall Islands? Yep. <laughs> All right, and now the last clue. And the last clue for $2,000. This Portuguese archipelago once served as a stop for the treasure galleons returning to Spain from America. Player two. Azores. That's correct. Yep. I'll put player two out of the hole and at 400. So that means he'll be around for Final Jeopardy. Player three is at 6250 and I have 8600. So it's all going to come down to Final Jeopardy and our category is... National, National holidays. holidays. You need to select your winter. Okay. Uh, let's see. I will go. Let's see here. Thirty nine oh one. And the last clue. June 23rd, National Day in this country, began as a celebration of the birthday of Grand Duchess Charlotte. What is Luxembourg? Did you come up with the correct response? And that correct response was... It's Luxembourg! Player 2 doubles his money to 800. Player free said Belgium, and that's wrong. She goes down to 3895. What is your response? And I said Luxembourg. And that correct response was 3901. So Nick H gets 12,501. We'll see you next time. Yes, you will, Alex. One segment left to go, and we'll see you for it.